Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a minute, um, I haven't uploaded, I only uploaded once in June. Um, I just had a lot going on and honestly wasn't really in the mood to film if I'm honest and um, I've always said that if I start a YouTube channel I only want to put up um, like good content, I don't just want to put up content for the sake of it. So. Um, sorry if you missed me, um, but yes, I am back, and if you don't know me, then my name is Courtney, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, and I try and upload videos every Sunday, but sometimes life gets in the way. Um, I do always post on my Instagram though, so if you're not already following me, make sure you follow me on there. Um, but that was like the longest intro ever, so, um, yeah, today's video, um, I'm going to be doing a full face of body shop makeup products, and this is the look if you hadn't already guessed um what do you think i have all the products to go through um foundation powders uh eyebrows there was two things i didn't have i didn't have concealer um didn't have a blush and i don't have a lip product so just a quick disclaimer um but yeah all the other products you will see as i apply them um let me know what you guys think and uh, yeah with that we'll just get on into the video because i've been blabbing um yeah enjoy Okay guys, so unlike other makeup videos that I've done, I've um, spoken quite a lot about each individual product. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and not be as chatty, which I'm probably gonna find quite difficult. Um, so I'm just gonna crack on with it. Um, I might talk as I'm going, but majority of it will just be like me just doing my makeup and then I will talk about the products at the end. So yeah, we'll just get right into it. Okay, so obviously I'm gonna put my hair up first. And um, as many of you will know, if you follow me on Instagram or if you, um, you know, are a long time subscriber, then I actually love the Body Shop. I use a lot of Body Shop skincare. And so I'm obviously going to be starting with my favorite moisturizer, which is the uh, Vitamin C Glow Boosting Moisturizer. And I absolutely love this. I've been using it for about a year now, I think. And yeah, I'm just obsessed. It definitely gives my skin a like, glowy feel to it, which I am obsessed with. And it smells insane. Okay, I think this lighting is a little bit better. So yeah, moisturizer is on. Next product is, um, this is the, Body Shop Vitamin C um, Skin Reviver, and you're supposed to use it after a um, skin peel, but I actually think it works really nice as a primer. So I've been using this for a while as a primer. Um, so yeah, I just use one or two pumps, pop it onto my skin. Again, it smells insane, and I already know that this works really nicely as a primer, so. Okay, so the next product that I'm gonna use is the Fresh Nude Foundation. And I have actually used this product before. Um, I've been using, oops. Um, I have been using this product for a while. Um, this is a new shade though, because I am a little bit more um, tanned in the summer, even though it doesn't feel like summer right now. Uh, but yeah, so this is in the shade Hawaii, Hawaii Macadamia. The only problem I have is, obviously I don't have um, any foundation or anything on right now, but my like, uh, my face and my arms are so much more tanned than my neck. Um, so I am probably gonna mix it with my Bora Bora, which is the lighter shade. So I have uh, two different shades. I'm probably just gonna mix them together. And usually uh, I, um, beauty blender to apply my foundation but I do actually have a, a foundation brush from the body shop which is actually a part of their new um, bamboo brush range I think it's bamboo so this is the duo fiber foundation brush I have actually used it but um, it was just quickly and I wasn't really uh, giving it that much thought and attention so I'm probably going to do one half with the foundation brush and then the other half with my beauty blender. So I'll do the beauty blender first just because that is what I'm used to. So I've just mixed a couple of pumps together of those two shades. Like obviously it looks way more light on my hand than my actual skin colour but that's just because my neck is so pale it's really annoying. I actually think this is a bit too light for me but it's the same colour as my neck. Do you see my problem? So 
but it does apply really nicely with the beauty blender I definitely find it's quite buildable okay so now I'm gonna use the uh, stippling brush I've never really been a brush fan um, I've always used the beauty blender but I know loads of people rave about um, the brush so quite nice to give it a try I feel like it's harder to get um, like in the corner of my nose with a brush. I feel like there's not really much of a difference as to the application. I feel like it's um, sunk into my skin more with the beauty blender and with the brush it's more like sitting on top which I actually kind of prefer I think. Okay, so quick confession, um, there are a couple of products that I don't have um, from the body shop and one of those is a concealer, so I am just going to use my um, Collection 2000 concealer, so I'll just do that off camera, um, but yeah, I love this and have always used it, so you don't really need to see a, uh, another review of that. Okay, so that's concealer applied in the usual places, I'm not going to bother going over that, but for um, powders, I have the loose face powder and this is in the shade 02 which i think is like a medium uh so it's just like a shiny reflective top and the loose powder's in there and i've also got the um matte clay powder this is a full coverage pressed powder which i do generally tend to use pressed powders more than loose powders but um sometimes i feel like my face can be quite cakey Especially in the summer, I don't always want like a full, like cakey, um, really full coverage uh, look. So I did go for both. And I've also got this in the shade, uh, this is in the shade 015 Kyoto Blossom. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing these things properly. Um, but I've got two different brushes. So I normally use a denser um, brush for a press powder and then I use a fluffier brush for the pressed powder so again I'm going to do one half with the pressed powder and one half with the loose powder and we'll just see if there's any difference but like I said normally I do use a pressed powder so um, yeah we'll see. I'm going to do the pressed powder on this side okay so I feel like that's gone on really well um, it's not like it's not blowing me away, but um, it's also, I'm not like, oh god, I wouldn't do this again. Um, so yeah, I quite like, quite like that. Um, now I will do the loose powder on the other side. The only thing with loose powders is I'm really kiffed and I find these like really messy. So I'm probably going to end up with it like all over me. I don't know if it's just the packaging, but I feel like it's got kind of like a a bit of a highlight to it, it looks quite glowy. I never know how much to take out of either, so that'll do. So I'm just gonna use this fluffier brush for the loose powder. It feels less cakey. It feels, I feel like this side feels really light and not as if I'm actually wearing that much makeup, whereas this side I feel a bit like no, like, like it's just quite heavy and cakey. Even though I'd say they look very similar. Okay, I actually really think that I prefer this side. I definitely prefer the loose powder. I even feel like it's given a better coverage and yet it feels lighter. So I don't know, that's quite strange, but yeah, I uh, am quite impressed so far. Okay, so the next product I've got is the uh, 3-in-1 Contouring Brow Pen, uh, the Brow Sculpt. So normally I do use a, uh, like a pomade for my eyebrows, um, but complete confession, I haven't done anything to my eyebrows um, since lockdown. So they're a little bit overgrown. Uh, they actually don't look too bad. They're still holding their shape quite well. Uh, so I'm just gonna do what I can, but yeah, I haven't really been doing anything. To my eyebrows, all I've done is been plucking in the middle because your girl don't want them on a brow. So the three in one, you get a, um, so you 
get like a um, liquidy, oh god, it's like the Gibby Brow from Benefit, um, but it's like, it's really runny, uh, it, yeah, um, so I don't know about that, we'll give it a go. Uh, and then you've also got uh, like a brow pencil, but I don't know if you can see, but it's quite thick and it's not like angled at all. So I don't know how precise I'm going to be able to be with that um, like crayon bit. And then you've also got this. I have no idea what this is. Um, it's like a sponge, but it's like, it's not very good. I don't know what you're supposed to do with that. I would never think to put that on my eyebrows. You can't be very controlled with that. So I'm not gonna use that, but I will use the crayon side, um, which I have had a little play with, but uh, nothing serious. And I'll also use the, um, the liquid side as well. Okay. I have got a mirror down here, so I'm just gonna look down here. But honestly, there's not really much that I can do to my eyebrows at the moment. It's quite hard to be precise. Um, it is quite a thick crayon. I am used to using, um, if I do use a pencil or like a crayon, um, I do normally use something a bit thinner. So uh, I am kind of struggling a little bit with this. And I'm just gonna use really light strokes on the bottom because my eyebrows have tended to keep their shape. Uh, I mean, yeah, actually, that looks really nice on camera. Um, it looks fine in person as well, too. It's a good colour match, I would say. Um, so, yeah, obviously before and after. I'm trying to be really light-handed. Okay. Now I will try out the other part. Oh, I don't know about this. It's really, um, it's quite a lot on there. I'm gonna try and get the excess off. Because I feel like, um, it's called an eyebrow mascara. That's what I was trying to think of, Elia. Um, I feel like it's gonna go on my skin. I only really want to put it at the front just to um, so that they like stay up a little bit. My eyebrows are so long. They really need a trim. Um, yeah, it does stain your skin, so you've got to be careful that it doesn't go on there. And now I think I'm just gonna brush them. Oh, what a disaster. I don't like that eyebrow mascara. Oh, I feel like my eyebrows look ridiculous. I'm gonna have to flatten them. Okay, they don't look too bad. I just feel like they're really messy. Um, and I need to just quickly clean them up with some um, concealer, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've cleaned my eyebrows up with a little bit of concealer, and I feel like they actually, they look pretty good. And it was really minimal. I didn't have to do a lot to them, um, and I didn't have to use a lot of product. So, although it was a little bit um, harder to use than some of the other products that I'm used to using, um, I actually do quite like the way that my eyebrows are cleaned out. I still feel like you can still see my eyebrow hairs, then um, they still look relatively natural without, it looking like a block of eyebrows so um yeah quite happy with that um next thing that we have is the coconut bronze glistening glow powder now this is a um bronzer and highlighter in one uh i'm not sure if the bronzer might be a little bit light for me at the moment um but i'm gonna give it a go i'm just gonna use this real techniques brush they do actually have quite a lot of um, new products on the coconut bronze range and I tried out their gradual tan which I will link um, because I actually really like that tan and uh, I've been dying to try out some more of their products on this range so I'm quite excited to try this. Actually, I really like that. I actually think that's really pretty. And it's 
like it's subtle enough, um, but at the same time you can still tell that I've got bronze on. Oh, I really, really like it. Oh, I love that. I'm gonna pop a little bit on my forehead. It's quite buildable as well. Um, I feel like I do have to use quite a lot of product, but I just think that looks so nice. Oh, I really like that. That is definitely gonna be a new staple in my makeup collection. I feel like I've got a nice healthy glow um, without it being too in your face. It's still quite subtle, which I think is so cute. I completely forgot about the blush, so I'm just gonna use a blush from this Revolution uh, makeup palette that I've got. Okay, now for the highlighter. Um, again, just using this Coconut Bronze 2 in 1. Um, oh, and this is in the shade Glow Coco. Uh, I don't know if that, it doesn't look really highlighty. Um, I'm gonna swatch it on my hand. I'll swatch it right here. I mean, it's definitely got a shimmer to it, but it's not like a blinding highlight. Um, I actually really like highlight. Sometimes I like it more subtle, sometimes I like it a bit more blinding, so we'll just see now. It smells really nice. It's got a bit of a coconutty scent to it. Oh, I completely forgot. I made myself a coffee. Oh, it is quite pretty. Do quite like that. I feel like it goes with this makeup look. I feel like this is quite a, um, uh, like I wouldn't probably wear this makeup for a night out, but I feel like for every day, uh, like going out for lunch or something like that, remember those days, um, then I feel like this is a really pretty, like quite a subtle makeup look. It's not very heavy, um, but I just feel like it's all it all goes quite well together. It's like a natural, full face makeup, if that makes any sense. It is quite pretty. It's, I mean, you could definitely see it, but it's not absolutely blinding. Okay, I really, really, really like that um, product, the highlight and the bronzer. I mean, look at that. That just looks really pretty. Um, so yeah, I am a big fan, big, big fan of that. Okay, on to the last product. Now, this is the Lash Hero Fiber Extension Mascara. So, when I got this, I actually don't think I realized that it was the fiber mascara, because I know that Body Shop do also do just a normal uh, mascara that doesn't have fibers in it. And, ah, oh, I'm a little bit frightened. I mean, it, it sounds horrible. I'm just gonna put it up to the camera and unscrew it. What a horrible noise. Um, these are the fibers. My camera's not gonna focus. These are the fibers. Uh, I'm not really sure that I want to stick these near my eye. Um, I don't really even know how to do it. There's no instructions. I'm guessing you just put the fibers on and then put the mascara on top of it. This is the mascara. I have actually used the mascara as a standalone mascara and it's really nice. Um, so again, I'm gonna do one side with the fibers and one side not, just so you can see the difference. And we'll see, we shall see. I'm gonna take off as much excess fibers. Cause, oh my God, I just feel like they're gonna go in my eyeball. I'll do this side with fibers. I don't know if that's even doing anything. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. I assume you put the fibers on and then put the mascara on. There's not really any instructions. Okay, I think that's enough. They don't really, I don't even know if I've got any on. Um, I don't know if I did that right. I'll now try and put the mascara on top and see if it works. Oh, the mascara is pretty good. So obviously uh, during lockdown, I haven't had any um, like lash extensions, haven't had um, like a lash lift or 
haven't obviously done anything to my lashes. I've hardly even been wearing mascara. So, um, I am not sure if it is this wonderful mascara or if the fact that my lashes have grown or I'm, I'm now um, like a lot healthier and so that they look a lot longer and a lot nicer because I'm telling you, I used to have absolutely shite lashes and I really, really mean that. My lashes were awful. That mascara is bloody lovely. Okay, so that's with the fibers, if I even did them right. I do kind of feel like I've got something in my eye, which is not a very nice... <gasps> oh, no. I just remembered I had an eyeshadow palette. And I've already put mascara on. I'll put some eyeshadow on this side. Oh, I'm literally such a div, man. Got it, absolutely got it. Okay, so this is the eyeshadow palette that I've got. It's new, I need to open it. It's called the Painting Color Eyeshadow Palette. I haven't put eyeshadow on it in years either. So this is the eyeshadow palette, and it does have some really nice colors. Um, they're colors that I probably would use because they're quite neutral and I'm really boring. Um, but I'll swatch some for you. So this is that greeny color. That's really not bad. Wow, that was actually really nice. Wow, that's actually a really nice color. That would be so nice at Christmas time. Um, I'll swatch this purely one. Again, I am impressed. That's pretty nice. It's got like a, they've got shimmers to them, but I feel like they're quite subtle. Um, there's an orangey one, which is probably the one that I would gravitate towards. Wow, that's a really nice colour. That is so nice. Um, okay, there's one more shimmer. I oh no, there's a couple more shimmers, but this is like a goldy whitey shimmer. I'm running out of fingers. That one's still really nice, wow. I'm really impressed with those, especially those two. Um, I would probably use those two the most. I'm just gonna go get some eyeshadow brushes and I will play around on this side. I can't believe I forgot about my coffee and my eyeshadow palette. I don't, this feels horrible. I feel like I've got something in my eye. Okay. So first color I'm going to take is, um, and I take this one as a transition shade, I think, because the others are probably a bit too light to be a transition shade for me right now. Uh, there's a lot of fallout, but that's okay if you get that with most. And I'm just going in with this big old fluffy blending brush uh, just to put it on everywhere. And I'm really not gonna be doing um, anything special because I haven't done eyeshadow in probably like a year like properly, um, and I just can never be asked with it anymore, so yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that darker color uh, there, and I'm just gonna try and deepen up the crease a little bit. Okay, so a little goes a long way. Um, I didn't intend to put that much on. I'm also just gonna bring it down out and then I'm just gonna go in with this really super fluffy blending brush just to blend it all out right none of these brushes are very good because I haven't cleaned them in ages okay I'm gonna tr should I go in with the orange or like the goldy color the goldy color okay so I'm just gonna put a little bit in the middle of like really pretty just as it is it's quite nice but it's not like it's nothing blinding really is it uh, I'm just gonna deepen up the crease ever so slightly and I think I'm just gonna leave it there 
And I think that is quite nice. It's a quite a nice palette. I, I quite like the size of it. Um, if you were like traveling, this is a pretty nice traveling size palette. It's not too big. And yeah, it's got um, all like, it's got all the colors that you want for like a neutral eye look. Um, but then obviously with the, the green and the purple, um, you could still do something like quite adventurous. So yeah, I think that's quite nice. I'm just gonna quickly try and match up the other eye so I don't look so strange. Um, and then I'll do mascara on you. Okay, other eye has been matched up. Um, yeah, I actually really like that eyeshadow palette. I definitely think I'll um, use it in the future. I'm okay, so yeah, big fan of the eyeshadow palette. So I'll finish off now just by using the mascara on this eye and hopefully it won't feel like I've got absolute fibers in my eye because that is what it feels like on this eye right now. Love that for me. I think the mascara is just as good without the fibers. It still looks pretty nice, but I feel like the mascara looked better on that eye. I don't know, actually. So unfortunately, I don't have a Body Shop lip product, so um, I am just gonna put on uh, any lipstick that I've got. Okay, guys, so that is the finished look. What do you guys think? I feel like I'm in a bit better light now to show you the finished product. Um, I have to say, I actually, going through the video, I was a bit like, mm, nah, yeah, you know, it's all right, it's all right. But now that it's like all come together and I've like pulled my hair down and stuff, I actually really like it. I feel like it's a really light and natural um, makeup look. And I feel like all the products really complement each other. Like the, I am actually just obsessed with this foundation bronzer and then highlight look and even like the eyeshadow and even my eyebrow I mean I just I really really like this so let me know what you guys think can you actually um, also see a difference um, this is the side that I used the beauty blender and I also used the loose powder and then on this side I use the um, foundation brush and I use the press powder, can you see a difference at all? Um, do you think it's made a difference to the application or the look of the makeup? And yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll list all the products uh, in the description box down below. So um, if you wanna go and purchase any of them, their links will be down below. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.